You're watching Free Speech TV's Newswire. I'm Marcy Miranda. In Northern California, a congressional race has garnered some national attention over the issues being played out by mostly Democratic candidates. To tell us why his platform is unique and why the race is unique in American politics, we've got Andy Caffrey. He's one of nine candidates for California's District 2 race, and he's joining us from his home in Garberville, California, via Skype. Hi, Andy. Thanks for being here. Hi, Marcy. Nice to be here. Great. So tell us a little bit, uh, paint this, this picture. Why is this uh, congressional race in California big uh, on a national level? Why, why should we care uh, in, in congressional politics on the national level? Well, we have a number of really severe crises that the Democrats and Republicans seem to be incapable of dealing with. And I think that's because of entrenched corporate power. So what we have to do is find a way to get non-corporatists elected. And we live in a very unique district here on the north coast of California. It runs from the Oregon border down to the Golden Gate Bridge. And it's also registered 62 Democratic and 15 percent Republican. So if a person wins a Democratic primary here, they win the whole race. So what I've been doing is working to put together a project in which we combine community organizing with the net roots to reach as many people online and in person um, as the corporatist candidates reach by buying TV ads. And if we can find a way of succeeding at that here in this district, then it can happen in other districts. So after I'm elected in 2012, three, four, five, six other people who are more famous activists, perhaps a Jim Hightower or a Winona LaDuke, can come in in 2014 and we can really start to shut down the war machine, shut down the, the corporatist support and start moving forward to deal with the climate crisis and the economy. Okay, so we'll talk about uh, corporate power and uh, how that's playing out or not in, in your race in a little bit, but let's go back to some of the issues. Uh, you announced your candidacy um, for Congress in April on the eve of the Chernobyl anniversary and climate change is one of the issues that you are really passionate about and have been. You've done some activism in the past around that. Talk a little bit about that and some of the other issues that you are uh, tackling in your campaign. Well, I've been following the, cr the climate issue for 30 years. In fact, I'm the world's first grassroots climate crisis organizer, and I coined that meme, climate crisis, back in 1996 as a response to Bill Clinton sending Al Gore to gut the Kyoto Treaty. Um, I've been studying in particular the polar ice situation, which has been worrying me terribly for the last 15 years, and yet no one is talking about it. Right now, half of Greenland is melting. And if you look at the science that came out in 1990, it indicated we had to reduce our emissions 55 to 80 percent by the year 2000 or 2005. Instead, the emissions went up, and they're going to keep on going up unless something changes. So I am proposing that President Obama declare a national climate emergency, and we respond to the climate crisis in a similar way to how we responded to um, World War II with a war effort to convert away from fossil fuels and away from nuclear as fast as possible, because these centralized forms of power generation are not efficient, and we have to go into the most efficient kind of program we can. And that means moving to rebuild strong, sustainable local economies designed around the bioregion, because the only way you can determine sustainability is ecosystem by ecosystem. Yeah, and okay. this is a program that's come out of green politics, and it needs to go forth to the American people right now. Okay, so let's really briefly um, go back to that uh, talk about uh, corporations and corporate power. Um, how many of the other candidates in your district are pursuing uh, corporate power? Real briefly, we got about 30 seconds. Well, actually, most of them are, are liberal, so they're not real big fans of corporatism, but they're running conventional can campaigns, all of them, except for me. Yeah, so it seems like there's a whole lot of... Uh, of, of a good future here for a campaign that's that's not run on corporate power for really grassroots levels is that right yeah and i think it's critical that we do it now because we don't have any more time great well that's all the time we've got for today andy thank you so much for joining us my pleasure thanks so much joining us was andy caffrey a congressional candidate for northern california's district two to read more about his campaign visit his website at caffreyforcongress.org for more of newswire visit us online at freespeech.org thanks for watching